Hi, this is Magnar, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series on Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, we're going to go a bit more in-depth into fitting out our unit that we've got and uh, picking some different armors and weapons and all that kind of stuff and show you how to do that. It's only visual. This, is, this won't affect the unit stats. It's only a visual uh, aspects. So from the last episode you should already have all the vanilla models extracted as we did into here. All that kind of stuff is in there already. You should also have the Magda mod unit base pack or whatever if you have your own um, mod pack you're going to be working from that's also fine. Uh, and you should have also your folder set up like this using your own names if you like. It doesn't matter what you call them as long as you know which one's which. In this episode we're also going to be using a text editing program. I use Notepad++ uh, but you can use whichever one you like. I'll put a link to Notepad++ down below in case you want to use that and follow on along exactly as I do. So let's start it up by opening the Magna Mod Unit Base Pack and checking out what a variant mesh definition looks like. I'll call them VMDs for short for now on. So here it is. This is the placeholder unit. Let's right click so we can actually view it in the PFM. So we'll right click and go open, open as text, and there it is. That's what a VMD for a unit will look like. We can actually edit it directly in PFM as well if we want. We can just type whatever we want in there. It doesn't matter. But I don't want to do that. Uh, the only time I really edit directly in PFM is when there are small edits. Like I want to change the name of one of the helmets, I'll just quickly change it in PFM. But if I'm going to do a lot of edits uh, to it, I find it much easier uh, and better formatted when I do it, when I extract the VMD for the unit and then work in it uh, with Notepad++. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go right click, extract, extract selected, and we're going to choose the folder. Oh, not there. Uh, tutorial and that's where we've extracted all the vanilla stuff so we're going to do it where we're going to work and edit stuff so with folder okay and it's done and then we can close that we don't need that anymore for now so let's go into the whip folder and you can see that the structure here is exactly the same as it is in the mod pack so we'll select that edit with notepad plus plus and there it is uh, we can delete these other VMDs I've been working with. We don't need them for this episode. As you can see, the way this works is you have here uh, an open uh, variant mesh definition and the backslash, uh, sorry, the forward slash variant mesh will close off this. So this opens and this closes. The slot here is open, doesn't have a forward slash and here it's closed. Which means that Anything between this without the forward slash and this with the forward slash, anything in between those is considered within that slot or within that variant mesh. So if we go further, here is where the unit is created. You can have a number of different ones like this. So look, if I copy here and I can paste it here that is perfectly fine and that will just change the bit of the uh, you can make both of these a bit different to give a bit of a more certain vari variation to your unit but we're not going to do that for this one so I'll delete that again but that's something which some unit VMDs already have if, when you look at the vanilla stuff now we can see here that there's a slot each uh, equipment type is put into a slot and anything in that slot is picked randomly uh, by the game and assigned to different units. So here we have five different types of helmets. We know they're helmets not because of this, not because it says helmets there, because that can say lollipops. Ah, I've misspelled that. 
There we go. That can say lollipops, and we'd still know it was helmets because we we look at the directory for where for this file, and the thing that gives it away is man helmets. That's what will determine what it is. Here is armor, even though it says clothing, cloaks. Here is a pelt. Well, this is actually a custom pelt, so we're not going to use that. Uh, so to delete that, I'll just put in select everything except for that. Uh, close bracket and I'll put forward slash. You can see here, here's another empty slot. We don't have to use all slots. We can use whichever slots we like. We can call them whatever we like. It does not matter. Uh, the only slots that matter with what you call them are the weapon slots. Weapon 1, weapon 2, weapon 3, weapon 4. These you have to actually keep. Everything, all these other ones up here, you can call them whatever you want. Funny name, and I don't know. Uh, uh, let's just leave it. Anyway, you get the idea. Oh, that's actually something we don't need either. Okay, so with the weapon slots, they differ because depending on the weapon slot, will determine how it appears on the unit. Um, which hand it's in, for instance. Weapon 1 slot is used for spears, uh, used for pikes, used for lances, and all those kind of weapons. Weapon 2 slot is used for uh, swords and axes and uh, falxes and those sorts of weapons. Weapon 3 is for shield, for shields, uh, but as you can see up here, the shield we put into an, its own slot. And weapon four is for things like throwing weapons, uh, like javelins, or if we're going to have a create a, throw, a stone thrower, then that will also go in there. Um, also, I think bows go in there as well. If you ever forget which slot is for which weapon, uh, it's always good to just check out what existing units have. That's what I do pretty much all the time. I see what the existing unit has, and then I, it reminds me of what the correct way to do it is. Now these lines here actually just reference another variant mesh definition. We know that because it says here, variant mesh reference definition, and then it gives us the path to that here. So let's take a look at what that actually is. So we go back here and we'll go to where we've extracted it because this is a vanilla uh, file. So we're going to go vanilla extracted and follow this path Variant models, man, helmets, and then we're going to scroll down until we get to Hellenic, Thracian basics. As you can see in this folder, there are two types of files. Looking here, you've got the rigid model files, and you've got the variant mesh definition files. And you can reference both of them in this VMD. Uh, although only one is only VM, only other VMDs are referenced in this VMD. So we'll go down to Hellenic Thracian Basic. And there it is. Let's open it up and have a look. Now in here we can see something a little different. This says variant mesh model equals. So this is actually referring to one of these models. These files here, the rigid models. And specifically Hellenic Thracian 1. There it is and then also Hellenic Thracian 2 and Hellenic Thracian 3. So by referencing this VMD here in our unit, we essentially get a variation of three different uh, Thracian helmets. We can put a whole bunch more in there and we can add to even more variation to our, our unit. It's lollipops, I mean helmets. <laughs> We can also edit, enter, uh, we can also add a row in here, for instance, let's copy this. I always like to copy the first empty space of the line above, so that I can just click here and click paste. I, I, I don't know why I do it, I just like to do it. Now we can, when I'm adding lines, I always copy something and then paste it. It keeps some of the file structure intact and uh, that saves me time. What we're going to do here is we're going to 
just take this part here, copy, and we're going to paste that in there. Now this is referring to a rigid, uh, to a rigid model, but uh, this is we're not want a helmet there. We want to have a let's have a bit of armor. Well, we can even put a tunic in there just to give a bit of variation. So we're going to go down here, man tunics. And we'll pick a random tunic from here. Let's say this one here. And I'll always write I'll always copy the name exactly rather than typing it out. So I'll right click, copy, then I'll go in here and change the name of the rigid model. And now it's referring to that, except for this. So I've copied the this was referring to the helmets folder. Now I have to make sure I make it point to where this rigid model is, which is in tunics. So let's change that. Yeah, I just typed it on a sorry, let's let's do it the right way. Rename. In case you you might forget the S accidentally, call it tunic or something like that, and then you won't have any tunics on some of your men. Well that's a typo. Okay. And that's how a unit will look like. So let's change this unit a little, shall we? Shall we make it a uh, a swords unit instead? Mm. No, we have to change the animation of that. Now let's leave it at that. We'll, uh, we've given them a, a Celtic tunic instead, which will look a little strange. Um, and that's about all we've really done, isn't it? But that's enough to just show how you go about adding and editing things in the unit VMD. Um, so we'll save that now. Uh, I already have. Yeah. Uh, quit that. And we'll go back to our pack. So we'll open our pack. And we'll go down to the VMD that's in there. Now this is the old one. We don't want this anymore. We want to get the new one. So we select it. We can right click and delete or you can just push the delete key. Then we'll go to the folder and we'll write, you see how it's grey? It means it's no longer there. And everything above uh, is red. So something in the Magna unit base pack has been deleted and that something is in the variant mesh folder and that something is in the variant mesh definitions folder and there it is, deleted. So let's go add. And this time instead of add from pack like we did in previous episodes, we're going to go add files. Okay, so we go add files and we're going to find the directory where we saved that VMD that we just worked on, which is not in. There it is right there. So click on it, OK, open. And now it's green, green meaning that it's been added and we can save that. If you want to double check that it's actually worked. Open as text and you can see here there's the rigid model that we've actually added. We can now launch that in game. Shouldn't have any issues and be able to check out the unit. And here we can see our unit with Celtic tunics, tunics and Linothrexes mixed together. Uh, this is in the Rome custom battle setup and the unit card hasn't been added yet so it's got a default unit card there. Alright, that's all for this episode, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.